Tonight, Mark Schott's name remains on the outside of the university's baseball stadium, but it's coming down. Mark Schott's record of racism and bigotry stands at stark odds with the university's core commitment to dignity, equity, and inclusion. UC President Neville Pinto said the continued use of Schott's name on the campus is untenable. Trustees agreed, voting unanimously to remove the former Reds owner's name from the stadium and also from a space inside UC's archives library. Student athletes applauding the decision, saying a stadium's name should be associated with pride. It sets a precedence for what the, uni what the university stands for, or what the stadium stands for. Like, for example, Nipper, we know as football players what that stadium stands for and we know what he stood for. Shot was suspended and fined multiple times by Major League Baseball for making racist and anti-Semitic comments. A petition to change the stadium's name was started this month by former Bearcat baseball player Jordan Ramey. He urged UC to stop celebrating Shot's name. The petition had thousands of backers, including Bearcat alum and three-time All-Star Kevin Euclid. I think it's great that some of the baseball players came together and brought this to light and uh, now we have a, a name change of uh, the baseball stadium. The Marge and Charles J. Schott Foundation says it will continue to support the Cincinnati community and said while we cannot make excuses for the rhetoric made by Mrs. Schott decades ago, we can ask you learn from Mrs. Schott's mistakes as well as her great love for Cincinnati. And during this morning's trustees meeting, uh, trustees thanked UC students and alum for bringing this concern to their attention. Reporting live from UC, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, I'm curious. We've gotten this question a lot on social media, and it always comes up when schools consider removing Schott's name. Will UC give back the money that she donated to the school as well? You know, Sheree, that is a question that a lot of people are wondering. And I asked you, see, if it's going to return the money. A spokeswoman told me just a short time ago, say, saying the foundation has not asked for the money back. I reached out to the foundation. The foundation says it does not intend to ask for the money back. Back to you. Karen Johnson reporting live for us at UC tonight. Karen, thanks.